Alright everyone, welcome back to Feeding Frenzy 2, Episode 3. Okay, so in the previous video, we played through as Layla, the Queen Triggerfish. And now, we're gonna continue with a new fish. Yeah, I wanna resume, thank you. Stage 17, an old friend. Alright, we can now control Eddie the Anglerfish. Watch out for these jellyfishes. They're not gonna kill you, they're just gonna stun you, as in you can't move for a while. Well, let's start. Oh, okay, yep, look at that. These jellyfishes, they stun both prey and predator. So, I gotta be careful. Do you guys remember the scene in Finding Nemo where they had an encounter with a deep sea anglerfish like this one? Gone. The good thing is they cannot really survive at shallower waters. The water pressure difference is just too high and their bodies couldn't handle it. Nice, nice, nice. Double frenzy. Yay. Stage 18. Delving deeper. The quest continues. So far no sign of the strange creature. Why do these fish just even care about the alien fish anyway? I mean, maybe they see that alien fish as a threat. If they're this smart, shouldn't they be uh, telling the humans to handle that? That sounds like a national security risk. Oh, ah! Okay, yeah. that, that sucked. Alright. Black pearls range from grey to black. Some may also contain shades of blue, green, yellow, pink, or purple. Now I know that pearls are used in jewelry and sometimes in Chinese medicine, but I'm not so sure what would happen if a real fish actually ate a real pearl. Hmm, maybe it would just get stuck in their gut instead. Stage 19, the midnight zone, the darkest depths of the ocean. You have to eat these uh, light plankton so you will glow and lighten the way. Otherwise, it will turn so dark that you can't see anything. Okay. Alright, yep. There you go. Oh! Eat the light bulb! Alright, what the hell, boss? Okay, good. Fun fact! Tuna can swim up to 50 miles per hour. Oh, here's another fun fact. Do you know that it sucks to be a male anglerfish? Yeah, male anglerfishes, they are very small and tiny, and they can't really find food on their own. So what do they do to survive? Well, they have to find a girlfriend first. And once they found their girlfriend, which is way, way larger than them, they would just bite onto one part of her body, and slowly their organs will melt away, and he will just melt into the female anglerfish's body until he's just a set of balls. Imagine that you're a boy, like you have to be biologically male for this to work, and you found a girlfriend who's biologically female. It has to be like this for it to work. And you kiss your girlfriend, and your lips just melt into her body, and your whole body melts into hers, and all that's left would be two things. Your nostrils, for you to breathe, and your balls, for her to make babies with. That's how the anglerfish do. Stage 20, Midnight Snack. 33 minnows and 7 plankton in one minute. Doesn't seem too hard. Let's go. Okay, where are they? I gotta light the place up first. Alright. Okay, they're hiding somewhere. And oh no, I need another plankton. Light it up, light them up. Yep, there we go. Eating frenzy. Good, okay, light them up. Good. Double frenzy. Nice. Triple frenzy. Come on, come on. Ah, there you guys are. Super frenzy. Easy. Stage 21, Deep Sea Discovery, catching up with danger. Maybe we can find that guy right over there? Alright, let's let's see if we are lucky enough. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me that. Okay, careful. Alright, light them up. Whoa. Ah, I got stunned. That was foolish. 
Give me that. Oh, come on. Mega frenzy. All right. Ah. Mega frenzy. Mega frenzy. All right. Now I'm faster. Ah. Don't get yourself stunned now. Ah. Okay. All right. That's better. Mega frenzy. Ah no. Don't stun. Don't get stunned. Light them up. Mega frenzy. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh. Huh. Okay, so we are lucky enough to find that guy swimming around here. Fun fact, Humhap Rats use their teeth to crush shells and dead core rubble in order to find food. Alright, I'm gonna end this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I also plan to shorten my upload schedule from one video per week to maybe uh, one video per three days, but uh, I'm not so sure if that's possible at the moment due to my other projects and my job. So yeah, this is a passion project, and I am sincerely happy if you actually enjoyed it. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody!